Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson, and I'm here once again in our super best fancy fancy tech tech test location in the southwest of England. So today is an extra special day because I have a brand new piece of equipment. This is the Cortado Mark III from Zeppelin Design Labs. And it is a contact microphone. So for those of you who are not aware what a contact microphone is, you've probably come across one and not realised. This is a contact microphone. It is uh, basically a bug microphone that you attach to things with this little bit of putty. Which, by the way, has been on a lot of stuff for this video and is still working great. <laughs> little things. And this was sent to me by Zeppelin Design Labs via Break the Machine. Shout outs to Andy, you're a dude, many thanks. Now the whole point of this is that it's designed to capture things that would be very difficult to capture using conventional microphones. So this little bug thing in its tin can be used underwater, uh, it can be used to measure acoustics in rooms, uh, like in floors and so on, anything where you're making contact with a surface, which is why I used it for the drop test. So this little thing runs off phantom power. Uh, I'm using a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, uh, which has a 48 volt out on it. Um, you just push that switch and you're off. Doesn't interfere with my other microphone, which is a Shure SM58, which is here. We're gonna use the flat response uh, between instruments just to show you what this thing does when it's in its natural habitat. Let's go. So one of the great things about using a contact mic is the fact that when it's attached to the body, that's what it's picking up. If you think about it from the point of view of live performance, one of the great things is, or for studio use in fact, is that there's no outside interference from say the size of the room or anything like that. All it's picking up is the vibration of the surface of which, uh, which it's against. And I found uh, for certain applications that was tremendous. It's also weirdly weirdly responsive uh, from instrument to instrument and it picked up a lot of pick dynamic as well. 
These are also ridiculously tough. It's in the metal casing. The mic is in a metal casing. It's not tons of money. It takes a straight XLR, nothing weird, into your sound card, into your desk, whatever. Uh, acoustics, electrics, any surface you would like to put it on. It, mic <laughs> it managed to capture the sound of my desk perfectly. So uh, if this sounds like something that you would be into, and it should, you can go and check out Zeppelin's site, or you can do the right thing and buy it from Break the Machine. I'll leave a link down in the description below. So I hope this was of help to you. Uh, if you would like to know more about it, please follow the links in the description, and you can go and support Zeppelin Design Labs. Many thanks for sending this over. Thanks for the great sticker as well. Very pleased about that. Stuff's covered in stickers, so I'm always pleased to receive such a thing. I will also say that they send uh, an extra putty for your microphone, as well as these rubber feet, um, which I couldn't figure out the application for in this context, but that's fine. If you'd like to follow us on social media, you can, at Heavy Repping, and we've got Patreon and a podcast, uh, Welcome to the Black Traverse, which you can find on uh, Anchor.fm as well as Spotify and everywhere else. In the meantime, my name is John Tron Davidson, this is heavy repping and I'll see you soon so remember if you're not sure what to do in life rep hard and rep heavy <laughs>